Greetings, fellow travelers. Today, we're uncovering the treasures of Tunisia, this North African gem resting between the Mediterranean Sea and the Sahara Desert is a tapestry of diverse landscapes, ancient history and vibrant culture. From the sun-kissed beaches of its coastline to the golden dunes of its desert, Tunisia's natural beauty is nothing short of breathtaking. But it's not just about the landscapes. Tunisia's rich history has left a trail of archaeological wonders with remnants of ancient civilizations that once called this land home. And let's not forget about the bustling markets, the mouth-watering cuisine, and the warm, welcoming locals who add to the country's irresistible charm. So whether you're a history enthusiast, a foodie, an adventurer, or someone who simply enjoys exploring new places, Tunisia invites you to discover its many splendors. So buckle up and get ready to embark on a journey through the top 10 must-visit destinations. Our journey begins amidst the ancient ruins of Carthage. Set on the glistening shores of the Mediterranean, Carthage was once the heart of a powerful empire that rivaled Rome. Today, the ruins whisper tales of the past, of a city that thrived in the grandeur of antiquity. As we wander through the ruins, we encounter the remnants of a Roman amphitheatre. Once echoing with the roars of spectators, the amphitheatre now stands in silent remembrance of a time when gladiators battled for honour and fame. Moving on, we come across the iconic Byrsa Hill. This is where Dido, the legendary queen of Carthage, is said to have founded the city. Today, the hill offers a panoramic view of the ruins, a testament to the city's former glory. Further into our exploration, we discover the Antonine Baths. These were once among the largest Roman baths outside Rome, a symbol of opulence and grandeur. Now, the ruins of the baths paint a vivid picture of life in ancient Carthage. As we wrap up our journey through the ruins, we're left with a sense of awe. We've walked in the footsteps of ancient civilizations, immersed ourselves in centuries of history, and glimpsed the grandeur of a bygone era. Truly, Carthage is more than just a collection of ruins. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site steeped in history. Next, immerse yourself in the Sahara Desert. This vast expanse of golden sands stretches beyond the horizon, a testament to nature's grandeur. The Sahara is not just a desert, it's a world within itself, a timeless landscape, where the silence is broken only by the soft whisper of the wind. Imagine journeying across this breathtaking sea of sand, atop a camel, the ship of the desert. Feel the rhythm of the camel's steps as they echo the heartbeat of the Sahara. The trek might be slow and steady, but it's a journey unlike any other, carrying you through towering dunes and across flat, barren plains, each step revealing a new facet of the desert's raw beauty. The desert is not just about the day, it's also about the night. As the sun begins to set, the desert transforms into a canvas for nature's greatest spectacle. The sky, once a brilliant blue, turns into a kaleidoscope of colors, from fiery oranges to soft purples. It's a sight that captures the heart and the imagination, a testament to the desert's inherent magic. And when the last rays of the sun have vanished, leaving behind a blanket of stars, you'll understand why the Sahara is more than just a desert. It's an experience, an adventure, a story waiting to be told. So come, journey into the heart of the Sahara and be sure to catch the mesmerizing sunset, a spectacle like no other. No trip to Tunisia is complete without a stroll through its bustling medinas. Here, the heart of Tunisian culture beats vibrantly, pulsating with the rhythm of daily life. The air is rich with the heady scent of spices, mingling with the aroma of freshly baked bread and sweet pastries. The medinas are a feast for the senses, where every corner reveals a new sight, a new sound, a new scent. As you wander through the labyrinthine streets, you will come across a kaleidoscope of stalls, each one brimming with an array of goods. Intricate carpets woven with stories of the desert, gleaming silverware, handcrafted pottery, and vibrant textiles are just some of the treasures waiting to be discovered. And let's not forget the food stalls, where you can indulge in the flavors of Tunisia. From mouth-watering couscous to sweet sticky dates and refreshing mint tea, these are tastes that will linger long after your trip. But the Medinas are not just about shopping. They're also about immersing yourself in the local culture, about connecting with the people. The art of haggling is a tradition here a dance of negotiation that is as much about conversation and connection as it is about securing a good deal. So, as you explore the Medinas, take a moment to soak in the atmosphere, 
to engage with the stallholders, to haggle over a piece of pottery or a woven carpet. This is the true essence of the Tunisian Medina, a vibrant living tapestry of culture and commerce. Don't forget to haggle for the best deals. Experience the enchanting charm of Sidi Bou Said. Tucked away on the northern coast of Tunisia, this quaint town is a hidden gem that promises a delightful journey for the senses. Known for its distinctive blue and white color scheme, Sidi Bou Said is a living canvas that beautifully blends the Mediterranean and Arab worlds. Imagine strolling down narrow cobblestone lanes, each turn revealing a new picturesque vista. The town's signature white buildings adorned with blue shutters and doors give it a dreamlike quality like a watercolor painting come to life. The scent of jasmine flowers wafts through the air, mingling with the salty sea breeze. The town's serene atmosphere is complemented by its artistic heritage. As you wander, you'll discover art studios and galleries nestled among traditional Tunisian homes. Sidi Bou Said has long been a haven for artists and writers, drawn to its tranquil beauty and radiant light. Cafes overlooking the azure Mediterranean Sea offer a chance to rest and soak in the views. Savor a cup of mint tea, a local favorite, as you bask in the warm Tunisian sun. And when the sun sets, the town takes on a magical glow. The streets, bathed in soft light, hum with a quiet energy as the day gives way to night. Soak in the serene atmosphere of this coastal gem. Sidi Bou Said is a testament to Tunisia's rich cultural tapestry, a place where time seems to stand still, inviting you to pause and breathe in the beauty around you. Treat your taste buds to the delights of Tunisian cuisine. Tunisia, a land where Mediterranean freshness meets the richness of the Sahara, offers a culinary journey that's as diverse as its landscape. The country's gastronomy is a testament to its long history and the cultures that have graced its shores. Let's start with the nation's staple, couscous. Steamed to perfection and often served with a medley of vegetables, meat and a flavorful broth. This dish is a celebration of simplicity and tradition. Each grain carries the warmth of the Tunisian sun and the love of its people. Then there's the fiery harissa. This spicy chili paste is the heart of many Tunisian dishes lending them a heat that's as intense as the country's summer. It's a burst of flavor that's sure to set your palate ablaze. And who can forget the brick? This crispy, deep-fried pastry filled with tuna, egg, and parsley is a delicious appetizer that's as enjoyable to eat as it is to watch being made. From the comforting lablabi, a chickpea soup drizzled with olive oil and sprinkled with cumin, to the succulent mechui, a slow-roasted lamb that melts in your mouth, Tunisian cuisine is a symphony of flavors that dance on your tongue. So, whether you're dining in a chic restaurant in Tunis or savoring a homemade meal in a Bedouin tent, Tunisian cuisine promises an adventure for your taste buds. Don't miss the chance to savor these mouth-watering flavors. Step back in time with a visit to Duga, an ancient Roman city frozen in time. Nestled in the northern reaches of Tunisia, Duga offers a captivating glimpse into the past. Here, the echoes of an ancient civilization still resonate through the air, whispering tales of glory and grandeur. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is an archaeologist's dream, brimming with well-preserved ruins that stand as a testament to the city's Roman, Punic and Numidian roots. As you wander through the stone streets, you'll come across the remnants of temples, bathhouses and theatres, each piece of architecture a page in the city's storied history. Take a moment to marvel at the theatre of Duga, a grand outdoor amphitheatre that once held over 3,000 spectators. Imagine the thrill of the crowd as they watch dramatic performances under the open sky. Then, let your gaze wander over the intricate mosaics that adorn the city. These ancient artworks, crafted with exceptional skill, offer a colourful peek into the everyday lives of the city's former inhabitants. From scenes of gods and goddesses to depictions of daily chores, each mosaic tells a unique story. And don't miss the imposing capital, a Roman temple dedicated to the protective deities of the city. Standing atop a hill, it offers a breathtaking view of the surrounding landscape, a sight that's guaranteed to leave you in awe. Immerse yourself in Tunisia's rich history. Dugga is not just a city of stone and mosaic. It's a living, breathing testament to the passage of time and the endurance of civilization. Escape to the golden shores of Hammamet for some sun and relaxation. Hammamet, a coastal haven located on the northern edge of Tunisia, is a paradise that offers the perfect blend of tranquility and thrill. Its beaches, a symphony of azure waters, golden sand and radiant Mediterranean sun, 
are the epitome of natural beauty. Apart from being an idyllic spot for sunbathing and beach strolling, Hammamet's beaches are also a hub for water sports enthusiasts. Whether you're a seasoned surfer riding the waves, a kite surfer harnessing the power of the wind, or a beginner eager to try jet skiing or paddle boarding, the crystal clear waters of Hammamet invite you to embrace the adventurer within you. But Hammamet is not just about the adrenaline rush. It's also a place where you can let the world drift away as you relax on a hammock, lulled by the gentle rhythm of the waves. The coastline, speckled with charming beachfront cafes and restaurants, offers the most delectable Tunisian cuisine, allowing you to savour the local flavours while enjoying the panoramic sea view. As the day winds down, the setting sun paints a breathtaking tableau of colours in the sky, offering a spectacle that promises to leave you enchanted. The beaches of Hammamet, with their unique blend of relaxation and adventure, are indeed a haven for everyone seeking a respite from the mundane. Hammamet offers the perfect retreat by the sea. Venture off the beaten path to explore Tatooine's Ksur. Far removed from the hustle and bustle of city life, these ancient fortified granaries stand as silent witnesses to a bygone era. Their imposing structures, nestled amidst the arid desert landscape, are a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the Berber people who built them. The Ksur of Tatooine, dotting the rocky hills and valleys, were constructed over a thousand years ago. These complex structures were designed not only to store grain, but also to provide a safe haven for people during times of conflict. The multi-storied buildings with their intricate networks of rooms and corridors are marvels of ancient architecture. Each saar, singular for Xawa, tells a story of survival and adaptation. The thick walls shielded the inhabitants from the harsh desert climate, while the high watchtowers offered a vantage point against potential invaders. Despite the harsh conditions, the people of Tatawin thrived, their lives intricately woven into the fabric of these Xawa. Today, the Xawa serve as a window into the past, offering insights into the Berber way of life. The granaries may no longer be filled with grain, but they are rich with history and culture. Wandering through these ancient structures, one can almost hear the echoes of laughter, whispers of secrets, and the rustle of grain. It's a journey that offers a glimpse into Tunisia's rich cultural heritage. Seek adventure in Tunisia's desert terrain. The vast expanse of the Tunisian desert is not just a landscape, it's an invitation to adventure. The thrill of the desert lies just beyond the horizon, where the sand meets the sky and the adventure begins. Imagine yourself straddling a quad bike, the engine's roar echoing in the silence of the desert. With each forward thrust, the bike kicks up a spray of sand, leaving a trail behind you. The desert, a seemingly endless world of golden dunes, becomes your playground. Or perhaps you'd prefer sandboarding. Strapping a board to your feet, you stand atop a towering dune. The wind whips around you, carrying the faint whisper of adventure as you prepare to descend. With a deep breath, you take that first daring leap, and suddenly you're gliding down the slope, a cloud of sand billowing in your wake. Both quad biking and sandboarding offer a unique way to explore Tunisia's desert terrain. They're not just about the thrill, they're about immersing yourself in the beauty and mystery of the desert. As the sun sets, painting the sky with hues of orange and purple, you'll find yourself surrounded by a world of tranquility. Be it the thrill of quad biking or the excitement of sandboarding, the desert is an adventurer's paradise. So, gear up, let the desert winds guide you and embark on an unforgettable journey. Experience the adrenaline rush of exploring the dunes. Our journey culminates at El Gem Amphitheatre, a marvel of Roman architecture. Nestled in the heart of Tunisia, El Gem is a testament to the grandeur of the Roman Empire, a monument of stone that has stood the test of time. This colossal amphitheatre, once the stage for thrilling gladiatorial contests, now stands silent, a haunting echo of a bygone era. Its imposing walls, stretching skywards, were designed to hold a crowd of 35,000 spectators, making it one of the largest amphitheatres in the world. Its elliptical design allowed for perfect visibility from every seat, ensuring that no spectator missed a moment of the spectacle. Despite the ravages of time, much of El Gem remains intact. The amphitheatre's underground passages, once used to transport animals and gladiators to the arena, can still be explored today. These dark corridors whisper tales of bravery, valour, and the thirst for glory that once permeated this place. El Gem Amphitheatre is more than just an ancient relic. 
It is a symbol of the Roman Empire's might and a window into a world that no longer exists. Each stone tells a story, each archway a testament to an architect's skill and a civilization's ambition. Stand in awe of its grandeur and imagine the gladiatorial contests that once took place within its walls. El Gem Amphitheater, a silent witness to history, continues to captivate and inspire, a timeless beacon in the heart of Tunisia. And there you have it, Tunisia's top 10 essential stops. We've journeyed through the remnants of the powerful Carthage, ridden camels under the vast skies of the Sahara, and lost ourselves in the vibrant Medinas. We've strolled Sidi Bou Said's charming streets, savoured the unique flavours of Tunisian cuisine, and marvelled at the ancient city of Duga. We've relaxed on Hammamet's golden shores, ventured off the beaten path to Tatawin's Ksua, sought adventure in the desert, and admired the grandeur of El Jem Amphitheatre. Each stop has offered us a unique glimpse into Tunisia's rich history and culture, its natural beauty, and its warm hospitality. From history buffs and food lovers to adventure seekers and relaxation enthusiasts, Tunisia welcomes all with open arms. So pack your bags and let Tunisia reveal its wonders to you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really does help with our continued growth with now over 4,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for your support. Until next time, safe travels.